Hello, and welcome to the Soundcraft Video Manual series. Today, we'll talk about the Cascade Mode on the UI24R. The Cascade Mode allows two UI24 mixers to be connected and share up to 32 channels of audio between them. Remember, each UI24 will still only have 26 channels to mix, but you'll easily be able to switch between the view of the two mixers to see all available channels. Before we begin, make sure that both of your UI24 mixers are up to date with the latest firmware versions. Your mixers should both be on the same firmware version to communicate. Firmware updates can be found on the UI24 product page on soundcraft.com. Links will be in the description below. Let's get started. To set up Cascade Mode, we'll need our two mixers, two standard Cat5e or Cat6 Ethernet cables, and a gigabit Ethernet switch or router. We're going to refer to our two mixers as host and remote. First, connect the Ethernet 2 port of your host mixer to the Ethernet 2 port of the remote mixer. This is our connection where the audio will be transmitted, so it's critical that this is a direct connection and not going through the switcher router. Next, connect the other Ethernet port of each mixer to the switcher router. Remember that if using a router, that these should be connected to a LAN port and not a port for the internet service. They might be distinct by color, but check your router's manual if it's not labeled or you're not sure. Each UI24 will need to have its LAN network IP address set to a unique address inside the same subnet. Log in to each unit and configure their LAN IP addresses accordingly. Check out our video on setting up a UI24 with a wireless router for more information on how to set a mixer's IP address. For this example, I've set my host mixer to 192.168.1.100, and my remote mixer is set to 192.168.1.105. Now, let's configure the mixers for cascade mode. First, connect to the host mixer. Go to the settings by clicking the gear icon on the top bar, then go to the Cascade tab. Turn on Cascade here, and then set the role to host. Set the IP address of our remote mixer here. In this case, it's 192.168.1.105. Here below, we have some additional options to sync things between our mixers like snapshots and mute groups, so that they occur on both mixers at the same time. Next, let's connect to our remote mixer and head to the cascade settings. Set the cascade to on and the roll to remote. The mixers are now connected and configured, but we must make some patching for the audio to start moving between them. Let's simply send a channel from one mixer to the other. I have a synthesizer here connected to channel one of my host mixer. Let's head over to the patching settings for the host mixer. Then select Cascade Outs on the left side and Hardware Ins on the top side. Make a patch from Hardware Input 1 to Cascade Slot 1. Then switch to your remote mixer by selecting this button at the top. Once on the patching screen for a remote mixer, select Channels on the left side and Cascade Ins 1 through 16 on the top. Complete the patching by making a patch point from Cascade In 1 to Channel 1. Then Going back to the main mix page, we can see that our synth is now making it into the remote mixer. For more information on the patching screen, check out our patching video. You can mirror all of your inputs from one mixer to another this way. A simple setup like this could allow you to have one mixer acting as a monitor mixer, letting your monitor mixer have its own stream of post preamp inputs with full mix and DSP capabilities, separate from the front of house. For more news, product information, and troubleshooting tips, visit us at soundcraft.com or our Anytime Help Center at help.harmonpro.com.